Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Trading Market Technicals Morning Call video for Friday, September 27th. Markets did end up in the green. We got our bounce that we're looking for. Dow up 55, Nasdaq up 26, S&P up 5, and the Russell up almost 5 points as well. However, the bounce was very, very quiet. It was on weak volume. Um, at one point, the, uh, the, S the uh, Dow Jones almost went negative. So um, it's not encouraging at all, to say the least, that the markets are going with the follow-through today. Uh, we do have end of the quarter, end of the month window dressing. It would not surprise me if some of the larger funds start to take profits here ahead of October, which is a, a notorious for seasonal time of weakness. So um, I just like to say be very cautious out there, guys. Um, markets are still at the top we are still in, in an uptrend we are still in in, um, in a, um, a bull market here and yes the markets can reverse at any given time now we we have been down five days of the six from last Wednesday it's high uh, so that's uh, definitely something to consider uh, if you're looking for a quick bounce play it's one thing but if you're starting to add to your long-term positions I would not be adding here um, the uh, um, Day trading as well. Pick your spots. Uh, it's good. It's as of right now, the markets are very, very uh, um, uh, choppy, uh, lethargic. Uh, but the you know it, it, it's going back and forth to two sides. You know the uh, the pullback was very orderly, low volume, but the bounce is, was very uh, um, dismal uh, on low volume, and that's not what you want to see. You want to see a volume picking up. Uh, and we barely, like I said, we barely closed positive uh, up until the end of the day when shorts started to cover. Now, uh, we are down again in the pre-market. So this is going to be the seventh day starting the day down. Um, so we'll see what happens by the end of the day. But I would not expect too much. Uh, if the markets can't grab some footing here in the early session, I think we're going to probably sell off and pretty much end up selling off at the end of the day. Now, the, um, the charts look encouraging for follow-through for today. Uh, but again, uh, I'm getting um, some of our indicators again are pointing down uh, lower again. Uh, go right, let's get right to it. As you can see, the bullish percent SPX has now gone on a sell signal, and this is a pretty good indicator, pretty reliable. As you can see, yes, there are some. Sometimes you get some chop, okay, but this is a pretty reliable indicator. Now, this has gone on a sell signal. Now, it's a little too early to tell, but because we could actually just literally just kind of hook right back up again but this is something to keep an eye on guys okay now we have a sell signal here in um, uh, in the bullish percent now what what's also discouraging is the XLF the financials um, Goldman Sachs literally got crushed yesterday um, XLF following suit market sold off as well and then at the end of the day the XLF kind of held in there the financials did and, and Goldman kind of reversed and started to bounce a little bit so watch Goldman Sachs watch the XLF I'll show you the chart in a moment but this is something that I don't want to see and this is the bullish percent financials starting to cross over giving a sell signal and as you can see this is pretty reliable as well um, so this is something that we need to keep an eye on too as well. I'd definitely be watching uh, the financials along with the transports, uh, and we'll go into that chart segment in a moment, but keep an eye on that. Now, you go into the other side, new lows are actually, uh, the new, new York Stocks new low is, uh, is a non-event. So that's also encouraging um, that we see, we don't see a lot of uh, stocks making new lows. However, if you go to the stocks above the 50-day moving average, we are on a sell signal as well. Uh, but again, early, so this could actually change right away too as well. So just let's just keep an eye on things and see how they go. Same thing with stocks above the 200-day moving average. We are on a sell signal as well. And we're at these lofty levels where the markets usually, in fact, start to roll over. Okay, now let's go to the bull camp again. We have the VIX, very subdued. Last, we have six days of selling. VIX didn't go anywhere. Um, st still stuck in this underneath this uh, resistance area, the 200-day moving average. If you check the uh, CBOE, the, the um, put call actually closed positive, closed bullish. So it does, we have a mixed bag here. And when I see this, and the markets are not in sync with each other, so with the indicators and what the stock, what the market's doing, I like to just tend to step back, cash as a position, pick the best setups, and if there's nothing there, there's nothing there. You don't have to trade every day. I mean, that's that's uh, um, 
really important, uh, and that's what gets you through the choppiness. And the market really, the market uh, price action has been really horrendous the last six days. Uh, so that's something that uh, I don't. We, we want to be ready so when the market does in fact realign itself and either goes higher or uh, has a, a longer term trend change and, and that we are headed lower, at least we know that everything is in sync and now we're looking for either the short rallies or we're going to look to buy pullbacks. Um, right now, there's nothing here that, that gives us an edge other than the fact um, some longer term plays. If you're doing options, that's one thing. Um, spreads, uh, that's also another if you want to do something like that. Uh, collecting premium, that's, that, that's fine. Um, or, you know, uh, you have catalysts on the stocks that you're looking at, that's also fine. But if you're looking to just continue to start uh, adding to a longer term position, I don't think that's the right thing to do at the moment until the market either literally sells off um, and we get down to a certain level where the markets are indeed ready to bounce and maybe start to roll back up again. Um, that's another thing. But I wouldn't be buying or adding any, any long-term positions in here. All right, so let's go into the chart segment. Um, I, I put this little bull flag here because obviously it does look like here's your flag pole and here's your flag. So we do have... Um, a, a bullish setup that we have a bull flag possibly forming here that we broke out from yesterday. Now, look at the candle. It's very, very small. Uh, we have a topping tail here, meaning that price actually got sold back into. Uh, and we have our CCI um, commodity channels index actually rolling over. So not a good sign here. There's really no momentum to the upside. So um, this to me will probably look like it would fail. Now again, anything can happen, but um, I don't like the chart. I, I liked the, the setup and I like that we broke out of this bull flag, but I don't like the fact that um, I don't like yesterday's price action at all. Same thing here. I didn't draw it in, but as you can see, here's the bull flag in the spiders. And again, very small, uh, basically an inside day from the previous day. So that's really not encouraging. Lower volume, as you can see here. So nothing is telling me that this move yesterday was encouraging at all. Here is the uh, Spiders 30 minute. Now, again, we're back into this channel, right? If you see, remember we had this channel. We had a channel here. We had a channel here. We have a channel here. And now, now we have the Bollinger Bands pinching. And if... We're making lower lows and lower highs. I mean, it doesn't tell you direction, but it wouldn't surprise me if we broke lower today and closed in the red today. Um, it just it just does not look good. Um, it's definitely not encouraging at all. Here is the uh, channel. We are now in this thing for four days. One, two, three, four days in this lower end here. Um, so we're going to need to either break out or break back at down of the channel. Let the market tell you which way it wants to go. Don't guess. There's no reason to guess here. And as you can see here, uh, we are in this channel. We had one day down, channel here, another channel, another channel. So this is what we have to contend with when you're day trading. So when you're day trading, you have to pick the best setups. And again, cash is definitely a position, especially when you're day trading. Okay, diamonds. Uh, had a little bit of a pop, same thing. We're back testing the lower trend line, uptrend line of this November 2012 low. Um, but again, guys, nothing encouraging here at all to say the least that this market is uh, uh, headed back up, at least testing the highs. We're rolling over. Mar uh, all of our uh, momentum indicators, stochastics, MACDs are rolling over. We close on very light volume. Um, so nothing encouraging here at all. What is encouraging is the IWMs. Russell is doing fantastic holding its own for the last six days inside day every day this is encouraging holding at the highs here now we could easily just fall apart here but this is definitely encouraging um, transports also held up well yesterday uh, was weak at one point and then um, regained its posture and uh, started moving a little bit higher inside day from the previous day but again transports did not move at all and here is Goldman Sachs. And uh, Goldman actually was selling off close to the end of the day. And again, picked up a little momentum and was stuck here on the 50-day moving average. Now, here is, I like Goldman. I like to play Goldman on the long side. Um, and you can, if you, if the market stabilizes sometime this morning, watch Goldman because you can trade Goldman here. You have, you're on the 50-day moving average. Uh, and, you know, it's, this is very easy to manage. If you're looking for a trade setup, look for an entry Dial it down to, you know, a, a, a 5 or a 15-minute chart, depending on the type of trader you are. And you know your short, your stop's going to be below the 50-day moving average. So, you know, under, 
you know, 160, 159, 75, give it a little extra room here. This is going to be, this would be a good play if the market stabilizes. We don't just go in and look to buy it first thing in the morning if the futures are going to open down six handles. All right, so um, watch this because this could be a good, a, a good bounce play um, if indeed the market decides to, um, to start to pop back up again. And again, here's the XLF here. It held the 20-day moving average, but very, very weak, guys. Very weak. As you can see, our momentum indicators are rolling. Now, if the market can stabilize here for another day or two, um, and then we'll unwind this oversold reading as the stochastics are doing, that's fine. And then we can get another test of the upside. So let's see what happens. I think we got to get through Friday and Monday um, and get into the new quarter and see what really happens here. Apple is just a mess. Uh, I would not be trading Apple here at all. Look at this. Gaps up and down uh, we're still stuck in this range here if we lose this 480 you're going to see this gap fill and probably at least get into the 460 area uh gapples uh, apples a mess uh, i would not be trading apple at all until we get uh, a little bit more cleaner pattern here there's no pattern at all on our daily chart and of course lastly is accused now the tech has been holding up quite well uh, a lot of the larger cap tech semi's been holding up well so that's also a very good sign for the bull camp uh, but again, guys, today's Friday. Take it light. We're down already in the pre-market. Let's see if we get some sort of a bid here. Uh, but again, I think we need to get through uh, Monday and start the new quarter and see what happens. Because what happens on the new quarter, new money gets put to work. And, um, and then they start actually starting to buy um, certain stocks that have been beaten down. Uh, and then we start looking uh, to see, uh, look to trade. Uh, some good setups going into the new quarter. Uh, that's why I wouldn't want to be getting too crazy. Uh, unless, like I said, if you're trading options and, you, and you're, you're selling premium, um, that's another story. Or if you've got a catalyst on a certain stock, that's also another story. Usually doesn't, uh, doesn't really um, uh, happen. The markets don't really care. The stock doesn't really care what the market's doing if you have some sort of a catalyst. But if, again, adding longer-term positions, stay away. Let's wait and see what happens here before we get in. But, there, but activity and volatility is starting to pick up, as you can see. So should be a very good quarter, a very interesting quarter, to say the least. Have a great day. Enjoy the weekend, and we will talk to you on Monday with a full update.